top of the first question. Uh, I think coming into the game we always knew it was going to be difficult. Uh, I think there's a huge gulf between the two teams. Uh, you know, huge respect for Man City and where they're at at the minute. They're a, a high-flying Super League team and we're a part-time team in the Championship. So, you know, to come here and, you know, I think we give a good account of ourselves in moments. Uh, I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of in the scoreline. Yeah, I, th I think we're a team that's never going to chuck the towel in. You know, which, which, whatever challenge is put in front of us, you know, we're, we're going to give it our all from the, the first minute all the way to the end. And I think you're seeing that today and I think that shows the character uh, that we've got within the squad and, you know, we need that to continue throughout the, the championship campaign that we're in. What was said at half-time? Because you was only 1-0 down and obviously a couple of minutes in the second half, they Yeah, it was like, well done. You know, you, you frustrated them. They've had two corners, we've had two corners, they've scored off a corner, we haven't. You know, yes, they've had lots of possession, which we knew they were always going to have, but they haven't brought you down in open play. Uh, and, you know, that's that's due to good shape, good accountability, uh, you know, good defending. And I think the second half, I was really, really frustrated with the first goal. You know, three minutes into the second half, you know, we've got to manage their moments better. Uh and make sure we're secure behind the ball on goal kicks and you know when the second one goes in like you say it would have been quite easy for them to get disheartened but they kept going right till the end um not particularly uh it's something that you don't want to obviously happen but uh, I think the players have got to take accountability in those moments and, you know, you can't really do anything from the sideline. Uh, we've got to be better on set pieces, 100%. Second phase off a corner. We thought it was offside, but watching it back, it's not. It's onside. We just need to get out quicker, the last defender. Uh, but the, the second goal, you know, we, we wanted to be brave. Uh, we wanted to try and stick to a way of playing that we're going to try and continue through the championship. We, I thought we were in moments. We tried to play out under under a high press and... Uh, there was an opportunity to do it, we haven't done it, and then we've decided to kick, then we haven't won the first header, and then it's come straight back, and it's, you know, that, them moments are really frustrating as a coach. Does the result and the performance kind of show the gap between the championship and the USL might not be as big as a lot of people think, given the importance of the championship and the difference in the Yeah, I think the gap's certainly getting closer. Uh, but the game's improving, the product's improving, and you know I think every club's got to go with the times. They've got to try and make sure that they don't get left behind. Uh, you know, my my right wing back has just finished night shift at nine o'clock this morning and played for a two o'clock kick off. That's the difference. Yeah, the, the, and that's what we're up against being a part time team. Uh, hence the reason why she only played forty five minutes and she came off at half time. But she wants to play for the football club. Uh, Big hearts, you know, big characters, and you know, hopefully that's going to see we through. So, um, you've just come here and you've not been afraid to put that apart. I mean, you hit one of the short quiet for the whole first half, and I've done that, that's incredible. That's one of the, was that one of the goals that they're likely to keep quiet in general? Uh, not particularly, just bunny. Uh, I wasn't too focused on the result, win, lose or draw. It wasn't a big area of focus. They were given performance indicators in terms of <clears throat> how many passes in total we wanted to try and achieve throughout the data that we've had so far in the championship. So they were given you know, certain indicators and we'll go away on you know, tomorrow and analyse to see if they were close. Uh, I think coming here and just really focusing on the win is probably not the right thing to do because we know it was such a challenge. So well, hopefully we've hit some of the indicators that we wanted to hit and we'll build on that going into Coventry next week. Yes, yeah, so, um, you've hit two Super League games. Um, two Super League games are the Coventry now. Um, and really, yeah, they've, they've had possession, they haven't been outplayed. So are you pleased with the improvement, although it's possibly been shown the league for, are you pleased with the improvement and the progress the team have made this last week? 
Yeah, I, th I think we're resilient. I think we, we've showed that we can defend uh, and that we can be hard to beat in their moments. And I think off the last three league games where we've lost 1-0, if we had a scored a couple of goals in each game, they then become wins. Uh, so we're not far away. It's very fine margins. Uh, we know we need to put the ball in the back of the net more. Uh, the players know that. I know that. Uh, and they're working extremely hard to try and fix that. It's the hardest part of the game, you know, scoring a goal. Uh, and I'm sure it'll be like waiting for a bus once we get one. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more, and hopefully it'll be next weekend. It's hard because we're not even halfway through the season. You know, I think I don't want to put too much too much pressure on the players, but you know, the players will want to win the game for sure. I want to win the game, but. If we go there with the right mindset and we do the things that we ask them to do to the level that they've showed today at times, then we'll get a good result. I don't know. I, I don't mind it. I, I don't think there's too many league games. You know, I think if your calendar was overly subscribed, like the men's game, yeah, it might be a bit of a hindrance, but. You know, it's a, it's a good opportunity for. I think there was about. I asked them last week. There was about six players who've played against Man City before, and the rest haven't. So that's a, a huge experience for the youngsters in the group to to pitch themselves up against some of the best players in the world, uh, and they can see the level. So my players might think they're good, but when they come here and they see better players, then they go, well, right, how can I get to that level? And you know, hopefully that keeps them hungry to want to improve uh, and kick on. Spot on, thank you.